Clippers with a 111-105 win over the visiting Celtics. And you can follow him on Twitter at jcrossover. Um, quite the game tonight. Uh, you guys came out really strong, and, and, and the Celtics were able to really make this a close one down the stretch. What happened? They did. Uh, in this league, if you give any team life, you know, they get confidence and things start to go their way. The aggressor usually wins. Um, we were aggressive in the first you know, part of the game, and then we kind of took a low a little bit, and they were the aggressors, and we had to fight to hold them off. How hard is it to turn a team off when they get turned on like that? Very hard. Yeah, the NBA is the best players in the world. You got to throw records out the window, you know. But when guys get hot, they get confidence. Their team gets into it, and you know that's what they did tonight. Clippers, you guys had great ball movement again tonight. Something we talked about earlier today as well. I mean, how much is this growing as these games without Chris Paul on the court progress? That's what we have to do. Uh, we, we found a recipe. Uh, obviously, nobody can replace Chris, so we have to lean on each other. You know, different guys bringing it up, giving up good shots for great shots, and that's what we'll continue to do. Now, earlier today, we also talked about Blake Griffin being more aggressive on the floor. How aggressive was he, though, with that dunk in the uh, third quarter? It was unbelievable. I can't wait to go home and watch it on YouTube over and over. I at least watched it a few different times. Looking at the picture, JJ showed me there's no way he should have got that dunk, but Blake does some unbelievable things all the time. Gets it back. 